Hey, welcome to another episode of the Wix Fundamentals for the Wix user. Tonight we're going to go over a quick how-to on how to create a drop-down menu for your Wix site. One little uh, tidbit of information when it comes to drop-downs is that Wix does not natively support mega menus. So a mega menu is a menu that if you hover over one part of the menu, three, four, five columns of text pop up that can be clickable as a drop-down menu. I'm going to put a link at the end of this video to a video that was done by the Code Queen, Nayeli, regarding using code to create a drop-down menu. When you use code to create the drop-down menu, you have more leeway on creating a, a mega menu. Tonight, we're just going to go over a basic how-to on how to create a native drop-down menu in Wix. So first thing we want to do is open up our test site. We want to click on our page, manage pages. So here is our menu. Now one thing I did not do before was actually add a menu to our header, which I'm going to do first. I'm not really worried about the design of the menu, just to give an idea of what it looks like. So there's our menu. So again, there are all of our pages. We go to manage pages. Now, when it comes to creating a drop-down, you have basically two options. One is creating a drop-down where, where the, the text in the menu, in the original menu, is clickable. Or you can create a menu where that text itself is not clickable. It's more just a title. And all the drop-down menus are then clickable. Again, you have two options. First option, like I said, is to create a, a page that has the menu that is clickable and then we can basically take any page and put that underneath there to create a drop down. So if we preview this. So the drop down menu it, itself is clickable. I can go to there or I can go to either of the drop down that show up. Or we can create basically just a heading. So if I do the same thing again, instead of clicking Add Page, this time I'm going to create a folder. So a folder is something that is not clickable on your menu. So it's basically, think of it as either text or just a placeholder to then place your, your drop downs. Like you can use this for a category. On your menu, um, locations on your menu, if you have an about us and you want to do more of categories in the about us, that's kind of what you want to use when it comes, comes to that. You also have add a link. So you can basically create a link under your drop down that links either to another page or links to an anchor. In a future video, we'll go over anchors and what anchors are, but just a quick tip, quick uh, explanation. An anchor is basically a place on your site on a specific page that you can then link to. We'll go over that a little bit more in a future post. So it's a for tonight, we're going to create a folder. Now, since we were already working in this drop down, it's going to automatically put it in here, but we can fix that later. So now you can see that there is a folder icon as opposed to a page icon. Under this, we want to add a page. There, do a drop down two. So now, when I preview this, so this was clickable. This is not. So the easiest way to tell on a site if that is clickable or not is if it changes color, because most menus, 
when you hover over a clickable item, it changes color. Here it will not. So now I have drop down one or drop down two. We're actually on the drop down two page. That's why it's highlighted in, in blue. So that is basically how to do a drop down menu in Wix. Like I said earlier, I'll be posting at the end of the, this video uh, the link to Nayeli's video on Mega Menus. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to like our page. Subscribe to our page. Share it to your, your friends. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out either in a comment on the video or go to our Facebook page. Have a great night.